for tonight's project, we are going to be doing a watercolor inside of a circle. So we're going to need to tape down our paper so that it doesn't move. And then the next step is to get your plate down so that it is nicely centered and taking a pencil, I am making a very, very light line because I don't want this line to show later and I want to be able to easily erase it later. I came with a plan tonight and that was to have a llama in the center of my circle and maybe have it flanked by either some other animal or maybe some angels or I'm not exactly sure, but I also know that I definitely want to have some words in here somewhere. So I came with a plan. As you move forward, you be, should be thinking about what you want to put inside your circle. I used a picture of a llama as a very vague reference, but when I looked at it, it looked kind of like the face was sort of like a bit of a rounded rectangular head with some ears coming out of it. So that was really the shape that I used for reference. Next, I decided to tackle the eyes. And for the eyes, I honestly decided to do these the way that I would do a human figure, which is just to make that same kind of an eye with the iris and the pupil. It's not exactly realistic, but that's what's going to make my character have that whimsical looking face. So I did that for both eyes. I made something that looked vaguely reminiscent of an alpaca or a llama's nose, which looked like an elongated oval and a little triangle inside of it with something that looked vaguely like a mouth. From there, using my reference photo, I just looked down and tried to make something that looked vaguely like a uh, alpaca or a llama, um, and making sure that I'm staying inside my rounded lines. That's very important. We never want to draw outside of our rounded um, template. I added legs, and I was thinking about how alpacas have that fuzzy little, you know, tufted area around their legs. If you make longer legs, it will look like a deer. If you make shorter legs, it will look like an alpaca. It didn't really matter to me. I was just having fun. Then I traced over everything again, just to kind of get into the groove. Next, I thought a lot about where I wanted my words to go. And I knew my quote was going to be, the entire universe is conspiring to give you everything that you want. And so I basically made a whole bunch of very, very light lines so that I could visualize where all that writing was going to be. It took me a fair amount of time to do that, but um, it's worth taking the time to think about it. Next, I wrote in my lettering, and you know, I'm a very confident letterer, but you can also grab a font off of the computer or use stickers even, whatever you're, you feel comfortable with. From here, I decided that there was so much space over that little alpaca's left side that I decided I wanted to do a trio of angels up there. My intention for this is to make my holiday ornament, so I decided I was going to do an angel. And for me, angels are just really simple, childlike shapes consisting of heads and little rectangular bodies with wings. So you'll see what I do here. Um, but you could really do anything there. You could put a bird on its back, you could put an owl, you could have anything that you want, the sunshine, mountains, but this was gonna suit what I was trying to achieve. Then I started thinking about the background. And again, the most important thing is that you just do not wanna make any lines going outside your circle. So I decided I was going to do some kind of 
mm, abstract ground and just like a lot of patterns. So, um, but you just wanna stay inside your circle. That's the most important part. I always forget to sign my pieces, so I signed mine at this point. And then I started thinking about what else I might wanna do. So I added some little lines just to indicate grass. It's an easy, it's an easy fix for me and it's a good filler. So I added some little hash marks to make things look like grass. The next step for me was to think about my angels. They needed faces and because I want the focal point to be on the a little alpaca character's face. Um, I just did some minimal faces, just some little eyes that were closed and something that was indicative of a nose and a mouth, but very, very simple. And I also added some little hearts on their chest just because I thought that would be kind of cute. After all, that's what angels are all about, right? Next, I needed to think a little bit about what I'm gonna do around the angels and just to fill some of that empty space. And quite honestly, you don't have to do anything, but for me, more is more. So I started to add some little stars. You could also do this with um, punch outs later or you know stamps or whatever you would like, but I added a couple of little stars just because, again, I'm thinking of that holiday motif. I sort of felt like I still had some bare areas, so whenever I'm in doubt, I add those little black seeds. And I like to also switch to my non-dominant hand. As you can see, I just switched to my left hand. When I'm not sure what to do, I always switch hands. And so I just made some dots for filler. I was steered this one little area that felt a little blank to me and I decided I wanted to put one more word in there. So I decided to write the word believe in there. And to me, that pretty much rounded it out. At this point, I used my pencil's eraser to get rid of those light little lines that I had because I definitely um, can't get rid of them once I add the paint. And I also use this time to think a little bit about what I wanted to do for a color scheme. And at this moment, the only thing I knew was that I wanted the little alpaca's eyes to be green and I wanted there to be some green on the faces of my little angels. Um, that's about all I knew right here. I grabbed my colored pencils and I filled in the eyes and I also thought a little bit about the little hearts on my angels and I decided to fill those in with colored pencils as well. I opted for like a little ombre effect using a red, orange, and yellow colored pencil to create um, a little rainbowish kind of effect on their hearts. I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. Now I decided that my lettering could have used a little bit of extra detail, so I used my Posca pen to go over just a few parts of the lettering, the leftmost side of the, basically the strongest ver vertical lines and the leftmost side of my writing. And again, not everyone's comfortable doing this, so you can just take letters from your font from your computer or from um, stickers if you prefer.
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. At this point, things kind of went awry. I took a suggestion of adding a blanket to my llama's back and I got way too detailed with it and it just started to look super sloppy. So I decided eventually to just completely cover that with paper. Um, so you can watch this part, but eventually I undo it. <laughs> At this point, I just decided to start with the painting and I used my watercolor to just make the first pass of blue. I used really just one color for the sky. And um, again, I was very careful to just stay inside of that circular um, template because that's what makes it look so interesting when it's all done. From here, I made a second pass over the watercolor that I had already laid down. I made a slightly darker color, a little bit of a mix of my dark purple and my um, light blue, and it created this kind of dark blue color, which I just went over in select places. Now I started in on the grass and I'm using three different kinds of green. At first I used my darkest green at the bottom and then you will see I will add a lighter green and then over the whole entire bottom I take that sharp trucy green and I just drop it in to make that stained glass effect that I rather like and um, you'll see that. Next, I grabbed a little bit of my lighter purple on my palette and I just decided to drop a little bit of that into the sky just to add that third sort of, just to add more depth to that and I just like how it came out. So I started by just making little drops but I ended up sort of smearing it around. I like how it came out. Now, I could have left my little alpaca character white, but at this point I decided I really wanted him to have some color. So one color that is an opposition to that sort of purple at the top and the green at the bottom is an orange. So I grabbed my darkest shade of orange and I decided to outline my whole entire llama. I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous about this when I started, but I actually think it turned out to be the precisely the right color so then I took my next lighter color of orange and I decided to fill in my whole little critter with watercolor with that lighter orange I started around the eyes and I just continued to build from there I knew that I didn't want the stars to just be white. There's just so much with white with the angels and the area behind the lettering. So I filled in my stars in a bright yellow. And then I used that same yellow to touch some places on my alpaca so that there were some highlights. So I did the ears and I actually went over the body a little bit with some yellow as well. Now it's time to undo that blanket mess. So I decided that that really was not working for me. It was just competing too much with the lettering. So I grabbed a piece of collage paper, just some paper. It took me a minute to find what I was looking for, but I decided to just freehand rip out something and um, glue it on down. So that's what I did. 
And because this is going to be something for the holidays, I decided that little saddle needed something. So I grabbed my hole puncher and I have a hole puncher that actually is in the shape of like a snowflake. So I just popped out a couple and I decided to glue those on top of the little blanket or saddle that I had just made out of paper. I added a few teeny tiny extra details with my gel pen, like I went over the little angel shoes with some black marker just to kind of make their feet stand out a little bit more. I just added a few extra details as well. And bam, done. There's my cute little holiday llama or alpaca or whatever. <laughs> I think it's really cute. <laughs> 